Hey guys, Jordy here from Cinecam. Net and welcome back to Copycat Friday, the weekly series in which we try to recreate visual effects from famous movies or music videos. And last week, we created the transform effect from Loki inside Premiere Pro, and you guys seem to love that effect. So that is why we are going to do the prune effect inside Adobe After Effects, where Loki gets transported into the ends of time. A really cool effect, and I'm super excited to get started. So without further ado, Let's jump into it! Oh shit! Not an emote to do now. Maybe you saw last week's Copycat Friday video where we did this low-key transformation effect in Premiere Pro. But this week we are recreating the prune effect from Loki, which is a little bit harder and with particles. So we are going to do this in After Effects, which will give us more possibilities and make our post-production a lot easier. I don't know what I'm doing. We don't have a clue what we are going to do for the sketch. I am Italian with the arm movement. Is this Loki? Or is it high key? <laughs> Did you get it, Timo? I got it. Bada boom. What you doing, Lorenzo? I'm making the the prune work. It's a lightsaber. I can see memes of the, the, no, <laughs> the angry girl. He's a Got you. All right, guys, for the lighting, we mostly worked with colored light in the back green, which kind of fits together with Loki, the universe. And now we've got over there a Fresnel creating this beam to the prune stick itself. Now for the skin tones, it's important to keep those natural and not going to throw colors in there. So that's why we got these two aperture soft boxes over there, creating soft, natural light on the face. Oh yeah, follow me. Don't forget the haze right here to create some mystery into your scene. That's it. Now, when doing some research for the effect, we noticed that Loki has a lot of sparks when he was pruning. And of course, we also want sparks in our effect. A lot of sparks. And yes, we can use particle systems for this. But we can also use stock clips from Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. Here we can find various spark stock clips, which we can use and combine to create a similar effect just like Loki has. And Storyblocks also has After Effects templates for title animations, logo reveals, slideshows and so on. They even have this cool Marvel team template. You can adjust the text and have your own cool custom title animation. Now of course, if you are doing other VFX, Storyblocks has all the stock clips that you need, from HD to 4K resolution, but also with a higher frame rate if you want to go slow motion. But the best thing about Storyblocks is the fact that you only have to pay one single price per year for unlimited downloads. So stop wasting time and go to the first link in the description below and start downloading. I had a beautiful logo for this t-shirt. I sent it over to the printing shop, but uh, something went wrong, media went offline, and now I ended up with this t-shirt. You can buy this, by the way. Link in the description. Everything is done, everything went well. 
The shots you'll need for this effect are quite easy. We decided to shoot everything in three separate shots like they did in the Loki series and that's just because to make it ourselves easier in post-production. All of our shots we filmed on a tripod. The first two shots we did without a green screen because the effect was going to happen within the body. The third shot we did with a green screen and that's because we need to cut Jordi out to make him disappear completely. And that's it. Ah, I can also see it because the lamp one. Also, while shooting the effect, we decided to use this practical light right here. Because when the effect opens up, you can just shine it onto your talent, making the whole effect more realistic. And that's it. Shots that we need, check. After effects installed on PC. Check. VFX mode on. Check. Let the post-production commence. Like you know, we took three shots for our effect, but we're only going to show you how we did one shot, as the principle is the same for every other shot. So to start, we placed our empty shot into a new composition, and on top of that we are going to place our talents clip with the green screen behind them. Of course, the next step is keying out the green. With the key light effect, we removed the green and fine-tuned until we had a beautiful green key. Then it's time to remove some parts of our talent. We want the ship that opens up in the middle and eventually covers the entire body, but Jordi is moving so first we're going to track his body to make sure our effect sticks to him. Select Jordi's clip and go to the tracker panel. Here we choose a track motion option and enable the rotation and scale. Then we place our two tracking points on something with a lot of contrast. Like the text on his shirt and start a tracking. Of course apply this tracking data to a null object and the tracking is done. Now for the removal of the body we're going to create a simple circular shape which we animate to go open. We also added a turbulent displace effect to the circle and adjusted some settings for the look that we wanted. And of course animated the evolution for some motion. Then we just parented our circle shape layer to the tracking null to make it stick and now we can change the track matte option from the talents clip to alpha inverted and voila now we have holes in our talent of course you can create a couple of shapes to remove your talent on multiple places but this is a creative choice okay next up is the glow on the edge of our holes for this we are going to create a mask in the shape of our hole so select the circle of track matte shape layer and with it selected go to the layer tab in the menu on top. Then select the auto trace function and for the time span property we're going to enable the work area option and press ok. This will give you a new layer with an animated mask on in the shape of our body hole. Then the only thing we have to do is add a saber effect to this new layer, choose some cool preset, maybe fine tune and of course set the core type to layer masks. Oh yeah, duplicate your talent clip on top of the saber effect and adjust the track matte option to luma matte to remove the glowing lines beside the body. And boom, we have a glowing hole in our body. But like you can see, now we have nothing behind our talents and we actually want a rainbow-like cloud behind them. So let's create that. For this create a new composition I name it rainbow cloud. Then in this composition we're going to create a black solid layer. On this layer we're going to add the VR fractal noise effect and a tint effect. The fractal effect we adjusted until we had the cool look. Animated the evolution and then for the tint effect we chose a purple pink color. Now duplicate the solid layer two times and for each duplicate we adjusted the seed of the fractal effect. Making them differ. Also change the tint effect one to a light blue and one to an orange color. Then change the blending modes of the top two solid layers to add and immerse yourself in the beauty of a rainbow cloud. Whoa. After admiring the beauty, we imported the rainbow comp in our main composition and placed it underneath our talent. Now for restricting it only to show behind our talent, we selected our talent clip and again auto traced it. On the new layer with all the masks, we only selected the outline mask and copied that. Then we deleted the new layer and we pasted the mask on our rainbow comp, decreased the expansion and increased the feather. Also an extra touch is adding a glow effect and the roughened edges, giving the cloud more randomness. Okay, we're almost there guys. We already have a disappearing talent with glowing lines and a rainbow cloud behind them. But of course, this cloud also needs to disappear. So we created a new solid layer just above the rainbow layer and added a VR fractal noise effect to it. Then towards the end of our prune animation, we keyframed the contrast and the brightness of the VR effect, making it go from white to black. Then just set the track matte option from the rainbow layer to luma matte and boom, the cloud disappears. But we still have some minor details to go over, like the sparks for example. 
Well, you can use some stock clips for this, but you can also use a particle system like Particle World or even Particular from Red Giant. It's completely your choice. Just like the fact that you can use lens flares. Also your choice. Again, use some stock clips or the Red Giant plugin and finish up this cool prune effect. TVA customer support. For technical support, press 1. If you're a very... Oh, hey Janik. The prune stick is broken. I'm on customer support. All representatives are busy at the moment. Come on. Please hold the line. For all time. Always. Don't, don't need support anymore. Ugh, the prune stick is working. Mr. Janik? I don't feel so good. Is this the end of time? No, it's time to subscribe on our channel and make sure to hit that thumbs up button to see new videos every single Wednesday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the effect, learned something new. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, where's the knopje? Here. Stay creative. So that is why we are going to do the Aleman. So that's why this week we're gonna chill. Chill, Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? So that's why, so that's why this week we're gonna do the... Vaskropke, you're going to do the... Prune... Prune... Fuck!